Every time we do one of these videos, it makes me more mournful and sadder that the Cars Fastest Lightning app no longer exists. It also makes me sad that we never got any diecast from Mattel from any of the video games, period. So much missed potential, but that is what customizers are for, right? Shane Cooper back at it again with another Cars Fast as Lightning World Grand Prix Custom. Today, we have Spanish flag Miguel Camino as if he wasn't repping his home country of Spain enough with his original paint job from Cars 2. This is the fully designated Spanish flag version. Very excited to get into it. It looks incredible. And yeah, guys, big shout out to Shane Cooper. I'll leave his contact info in the description below if you want to inquire about a custom yourself. And I've also already reviewed a whole bunch of his other works, such as Tokyo Night Shoot to the Roki. We have... Pyotr Racinov, almost forgot his name, Carnival Carloblozo, and Hot Rod Francesco Bernoulli, all of which are video game customs. Links in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. Let's dive right on in with where Spanish flag Miguel Camino appears in the video game or just what he looks like in the animated form there. Very, very cool. He has even more of a sophisticated artwork that just looks incredible based on his normal artwork. Really, really happy with how much the video game or the mobile game expanded upon the lore of the World Grand Prix racers, gave them more unique personalities, gave them all these interesting paint jobs, and don't worry, there will be more in the future. This is the last that I have currently of Cars Fast as Lightning video game or mobile game customs at the moment. I do have a couple more from Shane Cooper, but they are not from any video game. They are just, you know in their own little world, but I think they are almost even better. So maybe you can guess what they are. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. But yeah, there will be another wave to these. I hope to do some long gay match Chanel type action, probably Rails their rule because they haven't gotten any love from us just yet. And now let's dive into the review. So he used a Thailand Miguel Camino for this custom. I have the Chinese version here, but you can automatically tell how glossy the custom is. I just love that finish that Shane Cooper is able to apply in all of his customs and just makes it look so real, you know, just like an actual Mattel die cast. But yeah, right off the bat, you could see the coat of arms there for the Spanish flag. You got kind of like the throne, the crown rather, the pillars there. Very similar to what he already had on his hood as a World Grand Prix racer, but a little bit different colorization. It's centered and he doesn't have kind of the sketch, very artsy design that he had as a World Grand Prix racer with the star and all these swirls and whatnot. I remember reading one time what that all was about and how that was generated or where it came from. And it was rooted in something in the Spanish culture, but obviously they removed that. You know, as similar as these do look, there is none of that on this new version here of Miguel Camino. It is all completely within the Spanish flag and its affiliated type artworks and designs it doesn't have anything you know of the you know swirly kind of artistic stylized i mean just look at this you got <laughs> like a banner for his spanish flag right there it's like almost in motion blur you know what i mean so none of that type of design just like a whole new thing here but the coat of arms remained he has these gray rims here which is exactly the same as the ones he had before just china thailand now again, this is all created by Shane Cooper from scratch. All these intricate decals that you see here on the roof, all of these stars. I mean, look at that one there in the center with like that crazy, that's like a decagon. There's like 12 sides of that thing, probably even more. There's like an inner green star. Very cool. So meticulous, so intricate. And just so impressive that he was able to replicate it to such a high degree here. I mean, I'd like some... Fleur de Lis, I think those would be, along the fender here. Love the fact that he's got the black spoiler, which he should have had all along. That is actually inaccurate, something that they've yet to correct on the Mattel version. He's always inaccurately had a red spoiler. It should be black. 
Not a big fan how it has World Grand Prix on the spoiler there. That is, you know, not really accurate. Although I'm pretty sure that's something that the video game creators accidentally put in and not something that Shane Cooper did. But yeah, I mean, this took place canonically, if you're speaking in canon, way after the World Grand Prix, so he would not have had that. But of course, the window is painted over just like before, which gives it a really nice kind of sleek look. You know, some of these racers have that window in the back like Pieter or, you know, Max Schnell and whatnot. And it just doesn't look quite as clean in my opinion. But there are some Miguels, like the carbon version of him, that do have that window in the back. And we'll compare them in a moment here. You also have Powered by All in All World Grand Prix back here. And then the Spanish flag itself. Very small, but it is there. And again, that's almost identical to what you had here on the World Grand Prix version. Same thing with this emblem right here. So that's something I think Shane Cooper just transferred over. You can see the taillights are a little bit different. I really have no issue with that. I'm not entirely sure how accurate that part is to the video game or if we even got a good look of it in the video game because of the fact that you know, you're playing as him, but you're not in like third person. You're actually like got an aerial view from what I remember is how you controlled the car during the races and whatnot. So you guys let me know how accurate that all is to the video game. But to me, this looks incredible. You could even just consider this like an alternative paint job that Miguel had for the World Grand Prix. Or maybe they did another World Grand Prix and used all in all, but a different, better kind of it. I don't know. You can make up whatever you want. That's what I love about creative interpretation but this is just a beautiful custom one of my favorites honestly ashamed of myself that I left it for the last one to be reviewed but you know in all honesty I did initially think that the other ones appealed to me a little bit more I mean this blue and purple Carlo Veloso still is my favorite I just love how different and exotic it looks and in all fairness you know Miguel is very similar in just overall look to his original version this is a completely new character, so that appealed to me quite a bit. And we have just a black shoe to the Roki. Again, something very, very different. So that's kind of what I always gravitate toward. That being said, still, this looks amazing. But again, it's also one of the reasons why I haven't done like the French flag Relo rule yet. I just am trying to go for the different ones. I know there are for Longay and Max Schnell. I know there are some good ones. I know there's for Snot Rod we can do. Boost, eh, not so much. But I plan on in the next wave of these. And if you're watching this, you get a little sneak peek ski. My intention is to do Snot Rod, Relo Cerule, Longay, Max Schnell and see what happens. Maybe add one more in there. I'm not keen, super keen on the Fimic Missile and Holly Shiftwell paint jobs in that video game. I don't know, I just don't really like them all that much. We might revisit one of the characters that we've already done, like maybe the Italian flag Francesco might be due up, or maybe we'll go to the Cars 2 video game. I know there's like a black and yellow Francesco as well. So we'll see what happens, but plenty of customs on their way in the future and if you suck around all the way i will show you another one from shane cooper that i'll be reviewing soon you might recognize this it is the checo perez version of francesco that mattel did make they only made one though and gave it to the man himself checo perez so pretty cool but also very sad that they didn't make that like a convention exclusive just make 500 or a thousand make them available to the public you got an extremely rare, valuable exclusive that adds a lot to the hobby. Oh, well, no big deal, I guess. <laughs> Good. It pays to be Checo Perez. Now, before we end off the video, I do want to just compare him a little bit more to the other versions of Miguel here. So, of course, again, here's the original one. Very different, but just kind of if you look at him at a glance, similar in color and all that stuff. A little different expression, but that's just kind of because this is a Thailand version. This is a Chinese version. Another one that I'm not super keen on is the Carnival version. Also because of how similar it looks to the original. You have the orange tires though, which are kind of cool. The silver foil decals, also kind of cool. But they didn't really change a whole lot up with this Carnival racer. And honestly, they didn't do a whole lot with any of the Carnival racers. But I do think this is one of the worst. Despite being one of the rarer ones, here you have just straight up metallic Miguel Camino, aka Adam Warlock. Basically gold Miguel Camino as well, because that is what his like yellowy orange turned to in the metallic maker. And then what I probably would say is the best version of Miguel, 
this carbon version. I just love, love, love how different he looks. He almost looks like a different character. They gave him a new spoiler or a new wing, which is awesome, even though he has super unique wing as it is. Made this top of him all carbon fiber and you know obviously gray. Super cool wheels as well. And so this is my favorite version of Miguel Camino of all time. It's very easy on the eyes. But yeah, this is one of the versions that actually doesn't have the window painted over in the back. So yeah, there is that. I also wanted to show the bonus collector cards. Got a lot of Spain action. It's so weird to me that they released two bonus collector cards for basically the same character, even though this one was included with Hong Cho, I think, and then this one was included with Petro Cartolina, which are his crew members back there. It's like Miguel's having everyone else do his grunt work. By He's like, yeah, guys, can you give me some bonus collector cards? But I don't want to be released with one, you know, that's just beneath me. I don't want to do that. So if you guys could go out there and get some for me, that'd be great. And that's exactly what they did. You got one here and you got one here. So Miguel played that one nicely. But yeah, here's Honk Cho. His pity. It is Honk Cho, right? Which is kind of a weird name that gives me like Japanese vibes. But he is... I'm supposed to be Spanish unless he outsourced, outsourced from the labor. Come on, Miguel, don't be like that. You're supposed to be big hometown Spanish guy. Come on, man, don't be outsourcing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below who is your favorite of these customs, the ones that I've been showing recently and in this video. My favorite still is probably Carnival, Carlo Veloso. But I do still love this Hot Rod Francesco Bernoulli from the Cars 2 video game. They're all amazing. Shane Cooper is just the best. Thanks as always. And check out Get Me Collectibles if you guys would like any good deals on pretty much any Cars item you can conceive of in your mind. Because he's got a lot. And you can browse it with the link to his eBay store in the description below. Bye now. Oh yeah. Probably should say this is a sexy custom right here. Bye now. Bye now.